Okay. Um, so good morning, everyone, once again. Uh, can you uh, hear my voice? Okay. Okay, that's great. Um, so uh, before we jump into the stand-up, let me just recap what we did um, last week, uh, which is week two. So we had um, worked on uh, and we also uh, went through what Um, uh, uh, hey guys, I think you guys lost me for a second. Okay, I hope uh, you can hear me now. Okay, that was my uh, connection, I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, so I was saying, yeah, we had a women's only session, and we also uh, took a look at the dashboard development, and we also had a Q and A session with the team, uh, but not many actually um, attended that. Yeah. So for this week, uh, we'll be we have already shared the challenge document. Uh, I'm uh hopeful that you guys um got it and so uh today's session is going to be introduction to the week three challenge that that's with uh Yabavar, uh at 11 a.m et and then we'll have uh, a session with kerod i mean with red eight on introduction to insurance uh, analytics yeah so the week will go on as that just to go over the uh, sessions that we'll be having is the AB hypothesis testing, data version control, uh, and of course we have the careers challenge as well, and then we have statistical modeling. Mm, yeah, and we will be having the Q&A session. Yeah, and make sure you guys join that and uh, try to communicate your challenge so that we can help you. So yeah, just to go over the schedules like that, and I think we'll have a presentation of week two challenge today. So let me uh, pass this to the team, um, Kerod, uh, Natmail, and Yaya. So you guys can get it from here. Okay, uh, thanks, Uh <coughs> So uh, it's just, uh, have uh, a quick recap of uh, what what was the week like and also your presentation so anybody who wants to go first can actually raise raise your hand and present Okay, go on, Okay, good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, uh, I hope your uh, your weekend uh, was great. 
uh, okay uh, uh, now I'm going to uh, share uh, my uh, my progress so far uh, in the weekend I have been uh, I have been working on uh, on the remaining challenges uh, uh, you know I, I explained uh, earlier uh, last week uh, I was a bit uh, late doing uh, the tasks so on the weekend I spent uh, all two, two days uh, working on the, the remaining tasks and after I uh, I completed uh, doing that uh, yesterday uh, midnight I I have tried to submit my work uh, on the 10x uh, but sadly the, the submission link uh, is already closed uh, so I I couldn't able to uh, submit my work. Uh, uh, also, my GitHub, my GitHub, and uh, my report. I couldn't submit both both of them. Uh, but uh, if uh, if you want me, I can uh, I can explain or I can present my my document. Uh, uh, no, what do you say? <laughs> Uh, so should I present my work? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. That would be great. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yeah, we can see your screen. Okay, uh, so this is a short uh, description of the business objective uh, that we are given for the, for the week to challenge. Uh, it's to identify the profitability, uh, gross potential uh, of uh, this uh, telecom company. Uh, so that the investor can make a decision whether to buy it or or uh, sell it. Uh, to do that, the first uh, the first uh, step I have taken was uh, to do uh, a data pre-processing um, uh, because the data is already collected and given given to us. So uh, the next step will be. Uh, uh, data pre-processing. Uh, in that phase, I have uh, selected uh, and uh, somehow transformed the units uh, and uh, add some of the the columns together and uh, come up with this uh, with with these uh, columns. Uh, I think this this will be uh, the relevant uh, columns uh, for for uh, for doing analysis to to meet the. Uh, the business objective above, and after that, I have uh, I have uh, I have done just some basic uh, analysis. I have identified the total number of customers using uh, the uh, this this column. Assuming this is uh, this this column represents uh, a single a single customer, uh, just like ID. Uh, so uh, as you guys can see here, this is the total number of customers. And uh, uh, based on the location, I have counted the unique uh, location uh, uh, names, and these these are the total number of locations uh, identified from the database. So, uh, and also, the data is uh, uh, it's uh, between uh, it's uh, it's collected. Uh, 27, 27 days uh, data. It's it's provided uh, in the SQL dump file. So uh, approximately, we are analyzing we are analyzing the monthly performance of uh, this this telecom company. And uh, uh, okay, based on that, uh, I have identified top top three uh, uh, handsets. Uh, mobile phones used uh, in this telecom and as you can see here 
these are the top uh, the top 10 handsets uh, and uh, these are uh, top uh, manufacturer as manufacturers of uh, these mobile devices as you guys can see here uh, almost about 90 percent of uh, uh, phones are manufactured by these two companies uh, so as a recommendation uh, working with this uh, with with these uh, top manufacturers can uh, can benefit the marketing team uh, to do great this uh, this is the recommendation and uh, uh, these are top phones for uh, samsung uh, per manufacturer per top manufacturers uh, it's suggested on the challenge document so i have done uh, that too here and these are uh, top five location with high high number of customers and uh, uh, here with low low uh, number of customers here is uh, a basic user overview <coughs> that uh, that means uh, basic uh, EDA uh, statistics for uh, for user uh, and this is uh, aggregated data per user. That uh, that means uh, the total uh, the total number of duration, uh, total data used, uh, something like that. These are the top ones, and these are the the, the low the low uh, customers who have low low usage. And this is the correlation I've done uh, between the uh, different app usage. As you can see, see here, uh, there is no uh, that much significant relation between the app usage. And I have done engagement analysis. Uh, um, okay, my time is up, but let me just uh, uh, continue, right? Are you guys... Uh, hearing me yeah we are okay, okay. so this is uh, the user engagement analysis um, i have done uh, and uh, i have clustered uh, the engagement analysis into three uh, and uh, to put it visually i have used this horizontal bar chart and uh, this is my 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 result so uh, based on this this clustering uh, method, uh, you, you can see that most most uh, users were were not engaging uh, in this uh, telecom company. Uh, this is top top uh, used applications. Uh, uh, as uh, it can be seen from this graph, uh, gaming and uh, other other data applications uh, were used uh, highly and youtube is the search and this was the elbow method used uh, to determine the, the optimal number of uh, k value to do the the, the k-means clustering and uh, i have done that and noticed that two will be uh, uh, much better to 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 use as a, a k value to do a k-means uh, on a k k-means clustering after that, I have done uh, user experience analysis, uh, just like the user engagement, and found this. And as you guys here, you can see here, uh, most people are having bad experience. Uh, and after that, I have done uh, user satisfaction analysis. Uh, and I don't know, maybe there is something uh, wrong, or I don't know that. Uh, after doing this uh, user satisfaction analysis, I have updated the uh, engagement and uh, experience score, and I got this to a different result. Uh, earlier, I said users uh, uh, have, most users have uh, bad, uh, bad engagement and uh, bad experience, but here uh, it's telling me most, uh, most users have good and uh, high engagement. I don't know why, but uh, and this is the the final task: uh, creating table into the Postgres database and uh, taking the the screenshot uh, of it. Uh, so th this is uh, all of my document. And after uh, I have uh, completed this, I think my general uh, recommendation would be 
to sell this uh, this uh, company because it uh, to me it's not performing well. Uh, so the investor may not be ben uh, benef beneficial to uh, to to buy this uh, this company. Uh, this is all. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Okay, uh, thanks, Abraham. But why do you think uh, <coughs> selling it is a good idea? But what is your ultimate reason? Uh, my my reason is because, uh, as uh, you seen uh, from my presentation, most uh, users uh, are not engaged, uh, uh, and they are having bad experience. Uh, so uh, th that's the, that's the, uh, my my main reason, uh, and uh, also the the data usage uh, is also it's not that that much uh, significant. People uh, are not using that that much uh, that much data. Th that's my reason. Okay, so uh, so which one is like the best reason? So to sell the company to the investor or to generally? Uh, so I, I got mixed uh, recommendations. That's why I asked. So what you mean to sell it because it is performing uh, low engagements? So which means uh, you're actually not recommending to sell it, or I mean you're you are actually not recommending to buy it. So I'm uh, yeah. I, what I want to say is uh, the investor shouldn't buy this company. Uh, instead, uh, he should sell it and do other other thing. I guess. But isn't it better, like, uh, since it has a low engagement rate, if the value will be the ceiling value will be lower. So, and as soon as you increased the satisfaction rates and also the engagement rates and the overall experience rate you will have uh, a profit right so don't you think that's actually a better approach yeah you're right but I, uh, thought, uh, I, I thought there is more uh, more work uh, to be to be done to to get uh, this uh, this company uh, perform uh, high so uh, maybe the the investor may may not want to do uh, to do this hard work. That's why I am uh, recommending uh, that. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> not nice presentation. I, I, I like I like the approach of it, and also uh, I like that you try to find uh, where you have gone wrong because you you got two different results in in the same metrics. Oh yeah. Uh, thanks, Samra. That's really great presentation. Okay, thank you so much. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you, Nati. Uh, Good presentation, Abraham. Uh, just to add a couple of comments, not just for you, for everyone. Uh, in your uh, report, you need to include the conclusion. I think you haven't uh, put that. And also the, the future work. If you haven't done everything, you need to explain what's uh, left and what is going, I mean, what, what will your future uh, work will be. You, you should include that on your report. It's very important. Thank you. So, okay. Uh, anybody else who want to go next? OK, 
Okay, so I have to call by uh, by your name and you have to state a reason that's why you are not actually present. Okay, so based on uh, an alphabetic, alphabetic order, so I'll just go to Haftum. So Haftum, you can open up your mic and explain. Okay, uh, can I present it? Yeah, you can present it. That would be great. Okay. Have I shared my screen? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's visible now. Okay. Uh, so, hello, everyone. And uh, uh, here is my presentation about the Helicom data analysis. And I uh, have some recommendations also. So uh, the overview of this, uh, uh, this uh, exercise is uh, uh, to make a recommendation on, per on per purchasing telco. So I have uh, made some uh, analysis. Uh, those are I have uh, made on the customer overview and I have analyzed uh, the user behavior on the application and how much time they spend. And here is uh, also the top uh, handsets they, the users use, uh, which are Huawei uh, P5 and Apple iPhone 6S. And uh, the top three manufacturers of those headsets are Apple, Samsung, and Huawei. Uh, and I uh, have also made some analysis on the top five headsets and they are uh, top three headset man manufacturers. And uh, I have made uh, the user engagement analysis and uh, uh, I'm sorry, I haven't included some of my uh, uh, analysis here, but I have made the uh, correlation matrix and the relationship between application and data data and uh, application data and total data and here is a map or the plot of a script plot and um, here are the top customer by session duration and the top uh, customers by total uh, download data and upload data uh, uh, from the data i have analyzed the top three most used applications by our customers which are uh, gaming, uh, the others, and YouTube. And also, I have optimized the value for k-means uh, for the data given. And uh, from, uh, as you can see from those, uh, this graph, uh, uh, we can analyze that. Uh, the best uh, k-means uh, clustering uh, uh, number is uh, two. Um, and we can make it three, but two is the uh, better one. And also I have made some experience analysis on the network parameter like uh, TCP and uh, RTT. And uh, uh, based on those, I have made average through throughput per handset type. And uh, as it was given on the exercise, I was able to uh, cluster the data uh, on three, which are low throughput, moder moderate throughput, and high throughput. And uh, I have also made the satisfaction analysis uh, for the users, uh, which is uh, engagement score, uh, experience score, and satisfaction score. And I have also an analyzed the top uh, 10 satisfied uh, customers. And uh, based on the satisfaction an analysis, I have uh, clustered the data onto two, based on the satisfaction uh, score and experience score. Uh, I was able to uh, deploy it on a stream lead. Here is a screenshot. And uh, from the data I have analyzed that, uh, it has uh, positive and uh, negative aspects. Uh, the positive aspects are uh, it has high engagement level among users, and it indicates strong interest in the telecom service. And also I have uh, identified favorable customer satisfaction score, which uh, suggests positive perception of the company offering. And 
uh, and uh, there are opportunities uh, for for targeted campaign based on our my user behavior insights and the negative are uh, there is potential network issue uh, as i analyze the tcp and the rtt and there was some inconsistency in service quality and uh, there are uh, limitation on the data set which was uh, there were some missing in the uh, data so based on uh, the analysis uh, i recommend the uh, company uh, should be purchased uh, because uh, it shows some promising growth with uh, uh, addressing the network performance issues and uh, enhancing user experience i think uh, the telecom company can be profitable and here are uh, uh, some references i use thank you okay uh thanks uh, top it, it was an, an on point presentation and if from the team if any of uh it talks have any suggestions and comments you can absolutely give no to project one okay yeah yeah uh, atom good presentation um I like the recommendations in the conclusions, uh, but uh, presenting your results, uh, like using the data, it kind of uh, make it low. Uh, you need to make visuals of your data. That, that would make it great. Uh, so next time, please include the, the, the visuals. Uh, for the different results that you get instead of uh, putting them as uh, a data table. Yeah. Okay. Thank uh, you. I will improve it. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Uh, okay, Matthias, can you explain your problem? Like why it wasn't assigned to you? I like I, I don't understand it because it, it it can't be just for you. When did you can try I, to Yeah, you can. I share my uh, tennis tennis uh, platform. Okay, you can end. Okay, Mark, thank you. Um. So, uh, Matthew's uh, account had a problem. Uh, and so we had his name uh, both on the inactive list and also active list. So the team uh, the team uh, removed his email from the account, but now we are trying to get him back. Uh, but I can't understand why we have him on both lists, and I'm trying to figure that out. So, uh, Matthews, have you ever used a different email for Penix? Like, do you have two emails that you use, or you've been using uh, the same email from the start? Uh, I have uh, tried uh, two email for uh, for for registration first time, and I failed in one, and I, I got this one. Uh, I have, what do you uh, mean? Uh, yeah. When there was a first time, when uh, there was a a question, uh, I have uh, registered for two email uh, so that I can. Uh, uh, I can get a chance is therefore uh, I feel that one I, I didn't even use a, any uh, that email uh, but uh, yesterday I, I up to now it was working fine but yesterday I can't able to get uh, the final submission github link is it only the final submission link or yes you just yes can't look into the things yes yes the final submission uh, github link week two but you have got the other uh, submission links? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let me try and work that out with the team. I was just doing that now, but let me just go through um, the team's, uh, so, uh, the, the issue with the team, and then I can get back to you. But it's very much recommended that you use the same email because if you haven't, if you haven't worked with the first email that we probably have removed it i i i've, I've uh, started from the course i have been using one email only one email the same email 
Yes, yes. Okay, so let me just uh, get back to you after I uh, work it out with the team. Okay, okay. Thanks, thanks, Radhi. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, this side you can you can go. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. Am I adorable? Yeah, you are. We, we can't hear you. Hello? We can't hear you. Okay, thank you. Uh, we no, can't hear we you? Can't hear no, you. can you? Okay. You are adorable. Okay, thank you. So, I'm going to present my uh, finding this in the uh, so uh, I have uh, I did the work because I am using the phone now. Uh, maybe I it is not very good to do that, but I have I'm going to use my phone for presentation. Sorry for that. Uh, Okay, maybe just can you zoom out? It's I think it's zoomed in, so we can't uh, see everything. So can you actually zoom out a little bit? I do have finding this, and uh, Can I just talk? Uh, I mean, well, I have submitted the slides. You can just zoom, it for the bit. Uh, zoom out a bit, just a bit. No, 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 don't zoom in, zoom out. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, this is you are zooming in, so yeah, yeah. That's better, just a bit. Now, it's good now? Uh, yeah? You're, you're, it is too, too zoomed in. Uh, you have to zoom out. And this, uh, you are zooming in. Uh, we need you to zoom out. Zoom out means... Uh, make it look further uh, yeah uh i have to decrease the size yes yeah yeah zoom out means yeah uh, okay uh. Now, it's good now, I think. Now it's good, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I think we can see it. it uh, okay, thank you. It's better, okay. Okay, continue. Thank you. I, oh, I did the uh, uh, data overview analysis, and uh, uh, my findings are uh, the, to get the, uh, which apps are more contributing to the uh, which, which apps are uh, most likely used by uh, the customers? Uh, so I did the for uh, upload and download and data and uh, gaming and the other data. I don't know what other data are, but gaming and the other data are contributing more than others. I mean, they are contributing mostly. And uh, I did uh, for all. Uh, applications for social media, Google, email, YouTube, Netflix, and the uh, gaming and the uh, other data. So the two, the two, I, the two, I, when I mean the two gaming and the other data are contributing 90% of the total data. 
so they are they are mostly used to by customers so uh, so i we can uh, get some idea or insights about the data from the analysis and uh, i did the correlation between the all the data i mean if one person is using one data is that the case to use the other data and uh, i do the correlation to determine that and uh, it is the uh, correlation between them uh, and also i do the user segmentation and uh, i uh, did uh, i segment them into five uh, one uh, actually because of the exit that from zero and up to four uh, in all the segmentations down, uh, downloading the data is more uh, the contributing to the telecom uh, company but the uh, customers are uh, downloading more than uploading the data uh, and uh, i did get the top most used applications and they uh, respective to the users because id actually users are identified by their id uh, and i get the top the most used applications uh, the third app is i already presented the gaming and the uh, gaming and other that are contributing uh, to the uh, tel uh, telecom company and the uh, they said the contributing up this YouTube data. And they, based on this, I did the recommendation in the conclusion. Uh, so, uh, uh, in co conclusion, the report prov provides valuable insights and uh, uh, data consumption patterns, empowering telecom operators to make uh, informed decisions with the strategic investment to optimize service of ranges and then as user experience uh, uh, i i get the uh, contributing applications so someone can uh, decide based on this and uh, then uh, the next step is uh, doing the experience analysis and uh, i do the experience analysis average sort of put and set in the average tcp transaction And set, and I did get the data, the, the outcome, and this experience the clustering. I did cluster into three. Uh, is the uh, visualization of that, and the, uh, I do the customer satisfaction analysis, and the, I get the top satisfied users. So then actually, and uh, I do the relationship between data user and the satisfaction. The you can see that from the diagram, because to get uh, uh, how the data user and the top user with their corresponding uh, respective location. Because uh, I wanted to know, I wanted to know if uh, there is any specific application in specific location. So I can recommend the uh, investor to invest in some application in, in, in one location. So I did get the, the, the output for that. And uh, uh, because of, I do the uh, respective application with the, uh, with the, the, the location, and uh, there are other uh, applications which is uh, mostly used in one location with the other and uh, i did that on the uh, on the dashboard but i didn't get the submission for the dashboard and i didn't submit the dashboard and then uh,
Uh, okay, Adisa, thank you. Uh, okay, any, uh, any comments from EIA and Kerot? Okay, um, let me go first then. Um, so, yeah, it's a great work. Uh, thank you for um, presenting. Um, I think I was losing you a bit uh, earlier, but um, thank you for your presentation. So, uh, how many clusters did you have? Uh, based on the uh, get, uh, uh, the ILBO method, I do have a uh, 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 five, uh, five. I mean, for the um, for the clustering, I have five clusters. So that's uh, really an interesting one. So why do you think uh, you, you come up with five or your result was five? Because most of the cluster numbers are two or three. It's recommended to use five, then I use the five. Uh, okay. Uh, so I think uh, everybody in the code ex okay. So I think Nadia. Uh, can, can you go on? We only have five minutes left until uh, the other session starts. So, Nadia, uh, you can go on or actually explain why, uh, why, uh, why can't you present? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I didn't know my mic was uh, on mute, but uh, yeah, it, that is uh, the reason that I ask you for the number of uh, clusters that you have is on the report. I can only see uh, two, but you said five. Uh, can you explain that? Or is it? You I actually it, uh, get. I actually updated my code and they, I didn't submit uh, it um, because I have already submitted it and then I say analyze data and they, I did five or five. That's why. No. Okay. Okay. Um, that's why I asked. But so why did you move from the two to five? Do you think that's reasonable? More reasonable? Yeah, when I see the uh, uh, when I see that when I analyze the data, I uh, I find out there are uh, groups or clusters I have to consider. So I I from two, but it's, I think it's reasonable because uh, when I uh, I think that there is a, a, a customers or clusters that I haven't considered in when I use two clusters, so that is why I use uh, five clusters. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, 
I think it's better to move to the next step. Thank you for uh, your presentation, Yadisa. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, I want to, I want uh, the submission link for dashboard. I think is there is any because I haven't get the submission link for dashboard, but I did that. Um, so, uh, Streamlit app was not a recommendation for this week's project, but if you have done it, we will check, check, check it out. Uh, that's a good uh, thing to do, but it was not uh, a, a one of the recommend one of the requirements for this week's project. That's why it didn't have a link. Okay, uh, thanks everybody. And yeah, so we can, uh, since we have a short amount of time left, we can end our session here. And yeah, so the next session would be uh, introduction <laughs> to, uh, to the challenge. So the academy team, we can stop the recording. Okay, and so the next session is uh, in around seven minutes. So don't miss that.